So I'm Suzanne Montada and I'm the head of uh, the light design and the wheel design department. And I will take you through about the lights today. In the next minutes I will do the presentation between the screen and the car, so we will move a bit around. In a modern light, like what you see now, it's a, a bit of an example of what it is. Uh, it's not all the parts, we have almost 200 parts inside. Uh, here's a version of the matrix LED with a laser. So, now let's take the car out of the road and I want to show you what we have since 2003 uh, in Europe. And in this car we have it in the next generation and this is our matrix LED. In, in this car we have it in Europe or worldwide, uh, the so-called matrix HT LED or HD matrix LED. You can see the car is coming. The car will, is coming with a, the, our car has a full beam, a high beam, and then it just masks the car right to the base of the car. So that is the masking is the minimum. This guy is coming and is thinking that we are driving with low beam. He, he's not seeing the high beam. The rest of the road is perfectly lit because we're putting the maximum amount of light and just taking away the one that is would disturb the next person. We can do this with several objects. It means that if there's a car in front of us, so we're following a car, we can mask him. The car that is incoming, we can mask him. If the, a motorcycle appears, we can mask the motorcycle. A bicycle there, we can do with several objects at the same time. Now imagine that I'm a car, okay? I'm gonna play the car, I have a torch here, right? So I'm the car, look what happens. So I switch on the lights. You see? If I, if I don't go down and, I've, and I'm driving, I'm not planted. Now, if I follow, you know, the next 
flag will catch it. You know? And if I go down, you know, it's switching off. So I can drive like this. And um, if you if I come really close, you know, really close, it switches completely because the car is so close. The car knows exactly, you know, what's happening. And this is extremely important because it means it will put as much light as it can as long as it's not disturbing anybody. This side, okay, we come down, you see, there's, there's nothing. And I'm going to take it away. It's going to come the high beam. Oh yeah, look at that. And then, I'm going to mask it again. Because it's just reading where the light source is. I want to show you something else. This, this headlight here is the laser light, yeah? <coughs> if you look at it, uh, there's uh, some yellow signs saying that it's laser. Um, I'm going to show you something. I have in my hand a laser pointer, and I want to explain you how it works. So, our laser is blue. Yeah? A laser is blue. This is a laser, blue laser here. Yeah? And we have our phosphor chip. Yeah? And if you hit blue light with the phosphor chip, it's white. Yeah? This is how it works. So it means that the light is being emitted by the lasers and they are pointing to the phosphor. The phosphor will turn, convert the blue light into white and this is the white light that is coming out. So even if it says a sign, uh, don't look there, the, the light that you're watching, it's white. The only thing is, it's a very powerful light. Uh, the light is, um, for us, the laser is important to see uh, in a very short distance already much better, you know. So we increase the power in the, in the high beam. far away in the future, maybe one day we will have completely autonomous cars. In this day, the light will be there and we will change it to a light that will communicate with people. And in Icon, in our show cover, we demonstrated in Frankfurt, we were able here to move the light and tell what the, light, uh, what the car was going to do before the car was doing it, if the car was accelerating, stopping.